Namaste once again. We are back with one more edition of Amatya Sampat, the excellences or competencies of a manager. I want to remind you that the manager is supposed to be a master in execution or should develop that over a period of time. He or she can be relied on completely by the leader, the Swami or Swamini for this execution of whatever that project, that assignment, that initiative, that organization has taken up, right? That's what the Amatya is all about. So it follows, as you have seen, that in Amatya Sampad, every quality is contributing to this expertise in execution, to the reliability of the individual, and today we are going to cover two such competencies. And they are very interesting. They are obvious, but they are not always thought of in the same vein, the way I am going to put it now. So here they are. Kautilya puts these two competencies together. Shuchi Maitro. I repeat, Shuchi Maitro. Now, what do they mean? First, let's take the literal meanings of them, and then we will look at a deeper understanding through examples. Shuchi literally means being completely upright, a spotless character, an immaculate nature. And what does metro mean? Metro, yes, it sounds familiar to the Mitra, Maitri, the words that you know. So metro is being affable. Metro is being affable. You could think of it as being friendly, but it is not just about being friendly. Affable would be a more close and better word to be used over here. Now, what is this combination of Shuchi and Maitro? Okay, let us see. Let's consider what happened in the last two or three years, my dear friends. Especially you are, if you are a manager who is managing large teams or even more if you are in the domain of HR or people management, right? There were specific challenges that came to people who were in HR. And what was that? You had to solve the problems of lots and lots of employees. But yet you had to know where to draw the line. Now, what do I mean by that? See, we have faced a very typical situation, right? Line managers, but especially HR. What did they face? Here is what happened. Now, in the period of the pandemic, since it was a very uncertain period and something that was faced for the first time by almost all organizations, right? No such experience. So a lot of facilities, a lot of uh, privileges, a lot of different policies had to be created for employees. One of the big ones being work from home and work from home entailed for a lot of organizations, not that everyone could afford it very easily, organizations struggled, but to ensure that the employees had a laptop or some device to work at from home, they had the required connections, they had you know the required facilities and so on. And organizations did a lot of work in this direction, right? And uh, HR especially, because they hold responsibility for the productivity of employees had to do all of this. Now, a peculiar situation followed this. 
because nobody had faced this earlier since it was work from home if you were in an it company which has already been using it even though that time work from home meant not all the time sometimes you probably had some idea but if you are doing this for the first time including several it companies you did not know how to measure productivity but measure you must no you must whether people are they performing or not are they able to give their best or not so what did hr have to do they had to ensure that the right conditions were available which itself was not so easy because suddenly the whole home was at home i'll repeat that the whole home was at home because now the child was at home the mother was at home the father was at home sometimes the in-laws were at home and the conditions were not always very comfortable for working right they were sometimes not conducive for the individual to be productive so first of all you have to take care of this and second at the same time you have to ensure that people still delivered what they were supposed to deliver while also ensuring hey are the required number of hours coming in how do you manage this both my dear friends here is where shuchi and maitro come in maitro says you should be affable you should be able to build connections with the employees in such a way that you trust them they trust you and you are able to build a kind of bond which enables you to convey to them what the organization needs while understanding their needs get it now this is maitro but what does shuchi mean shuchi means being a pride being of a character that cannot be manipulated that means now as a representative of the organization you still had to stress that boss productivity aana hi hai deliverables jo hai wo to dene hi hai now this balance of shuchi and maitro because shuchi meant that you had to ensure that your priorities in your mind when i say your priorities priorities as a manager of the organization were right you stuck to your principles you did not get manipulated you treated every employee similarly you did not make distinction between those who were friends and those who were not so you know uh, friendly with you so you had to maintain your highest standards no matter what and yet at the same time you had to ensure that you are not being unreasonable in any way because these were very trying times my dear friends so shuchi and maitro the balance shuchi is setting your principles setting your standards sticking to them being non partisan being ensure uh, being uh, sure that you are bringing out from your employees what's required by the organization stating the expectations correctly not being subject to manipulation and metro still ensuring that your relationships are maintained your conversations are kind your conversations are productive so friends dwell on this beautiful two competencies the pair of shuchi maitro now i want to leave a question with you or let's say two questions though i gave you the example of what hr may have faced but i want you to think even as an individual in that role in the role of a manager who is handling a set of people the first question i want to ask you is are you the kind who maintains your standards for everyone are you fair doesn't matter whom you like or dislike so first introspection is are you fair are you non partisan are you unprejudiced okay that's my question as far as shuchi is concerned then i am coming to metro here the question for you to ponder on 
while maintaining the standards while keeping the policies intact are you still ensuring that you are friendly enough or affable enough for the employee to connect with you to share with you their issues their problems their joys their grief are you that person whom they will come to i hope these two put a lot of thought into your minds dear friends about how you can continue to improve yourself as a man but for now dhanyawad and namaste see you again shortly